what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload today's video is super exciting because i have not done a video like this in i believe over a year i made one last year and people really loved it i still get comments on it to this day of people telling me that they really liked the video and it was really helpful for them so i kind of wanted to come on here and give you guys an updated one and i didn't even announce what the video is yet so this is my updated 2022 feminine hygiene routine a lot of the things are still the same but i've added some things i've taken off some things and i've also changed some products around so i do want to share that with you guys today and i'm also really excited about today's video because it is sponsored by the company you natural so thank you so much to you natural for sponsoring today's video so you natural is actually a health and wellness company that sells vitamins and supplements i really love everything that they stand for and i also love their products i think that they're really helpful and i think it's important as women that we are fueling and aiding our body with the proper supplements and vitamins that are going to help specific things that we need to target so i think that overall it's really really important as women to be taking something to help with our urinary tract health and also to be taking something during that time of the month i am someone who definitely struggles with mood swings when i am on my menstrual cycle so they have a vitamin specifically for when you're on your menstrual cycle to help your hormone imbalances and then of course like i said they have a supplement to help with your urinary tract health so getting on into the video i'm actually going to start with supplements so i will show you guys these supplements from you natural first and then we'll move on into the other topics of today's video so as i said they sent me two different supplements we have their harmony supplement and their balance supplement so starting off with the harmony supplement it is a supplement that is supposed to help urinary tract balance and it's supposed to also help cleanse your urinary tract this supplement has d mannose and hibiscus extract in it and both of those ingredients combine to help flush out your bladder and to provide long-lasting urinary support it also promotes a healthy ph balance within your urinary tract and i know a lot of people do use cranberry vitamins and i will say that i did use to take cranberry vitamins to help with my urinary tract health but i will say that after doing some research i've actually learned that d mannose and hibiscus extract are actually a healthier and more effective and efficient option to helping with urinary tract support and this vitamin is lab tested and is effective and also bioavailable they're also very easy to swallow and they don't have like a really bad taste to them they're gluten free dairy free wheat free and they have no artificial ingredients in them also you natural does not test on animals something i really love about you natural's products is that they say that you buy a bottle and donate a bottle so basically what that means is that every time that you buy a bottle of one of their supplements you're donating one bottle to children in need through their vitamin angels one-to-one -one match program and then a little bit about the balance supplement it's a monthly hormone and menstrual support so it's made with evening primrose oil which is used to support hormone imbalances and also used to promote more comfortable cycles in women it can be used for pms relief menopause relief menstrual discomfort and also they say that it can be used for breast pain it also has benefits to helping clear up skin and inflammation and strengthen cell structure so it also has black seed oil dim and then like i said it has primrose oil so it can help with menstrual symptoms such as bloating cramping restlessness and mood swings i have taken this on my monthly cycle and it has actually helped me a lot with cramping and also has helped me with the mood swings just to kind of relax me a little bit because i definitely struggle with mood swings so i really do like this and i've absolutely been loving taking my harmony supplements every single day to promote better urinary tract health like i said both these supplements are soft gels easy to swallow and don't have a really bad taste to them so they're really easy to take and i definitely have noticed differences within my urinary tract health and during my menstrual cycle with my pms relief so definitely recommend these products from you natural if you guys want to purchase products from you natural and try them out yourself i will have everything linked down below in the description along with a discount code for you guys down there and here on the screen if you're trying to help improve your health and wellness definitely check out their supplements okay so moving on to some more supplements another supplement that i absolutely love to take every single day for my feminine health and wellness is the daily probiotics from garden of life i absolutely love garden of life probiotics they are a little bit on the pricier side but they work amazing these ones are the 50 billion guaranteed probiotics with 16 probiotic strains you can get these at target walmart i believe walmart actually i don't know i get them at target or the vitamin shop but i absolutely love them like i said a little pricey but definitely worth it i've been taking these for over a year now they help with ph imbalances they help with gut health they help with digestion literally everything under the sun that you can think of with feminine health and wellness these are essential like you need to be taking a probiotic 
product every single day so i definitely recommend these ones and along with that i recommend taking a woman's daily multivitamin these ones are from vitafusion i actually am switching over to the garden of life ones because i want to try to cut out gummy vitamins out of my diet because they have a lot of sugar in them and added ingredients and stuff so i do take these ones i've been taking them for a year definitely do your research on vitamins but i really am interested in the garden of life ones because i know i love the probiotics and i have looked into those ingredients so i do recommend those ones as well but i have not started actually taking them yet so i can't recommend them from actual experience definitely a woman's daily multivitamin it can help overall with feminine health energy and all of that also i just want to make a quick disclaimer that i am in no way shape or form telling you that these are things you have to do to have good feminine hygiene or health i am not a doctor at all these are all things that i've done my own research on that i've been recommended to by other people and just things that have worked for me so i just wanted to make that disclaimer so i also recommend to take apple cider vinegar supplements these also help with digestion and bloating but i've also read that they do help with feminine health and balancing your ph and stuff so i haven't really like necessarily seen results in that from this where i can be like oh yeah like a game changer but i do know that apple cider vinegar helps with digestion so i do recommend trying it and aside from that i also recommend liquid chlorophyll i'm not going to be showing every single product up front with you guys today i'm going to be inserting pictures for a lot of them because my products are literally all over my apartment so i'm just going to tell you guys i love liquid chlorophyll i definitely need to start taking it again as much as i used to but it actually does help with odor and actually decreases odor in all areas of your body and decreases odor from sweat overall so i really do recommend it and it also has helped me with digestion as well so those are just some supplements and vitamins that i definitely recommend taking for feminine health and hygiene but now i'm going to actually move on a little bit to pure periods so i actually want to touch on this briefly but definitely is important to talk about periods and that time of the month so like i said i absolutely love to take those you natural balance vitamins they are amazing for pms relief and also just for cramping bloating everything that i said before so those are really important but also the products that you're using during your period are super super important so i've actually learned how important it is to use organic tampons and pads rather than just the regular ones that i honestly used for years i actually just switched over to the l brand i don't know if i'm even like it just has the l on it but basically i switched over to their organic tampons and i literally love them i just feel so much better knowing that i'm using an organic tampon rather than just anything i buy on the shelf and i also do love their liners and pads as well along with that i love their feminine wash which i'll talk a little bit more about later and i also love their feminine wipes they're amazing to just carry with you on the go they work great and that wash is amazing to feel extra clean down there during that time of the month but also just on a regular day along with the l wipes i definitely also recommend the target brand the up and up brand feminine wipes they're a fraction of the price and they work amazing as well and i actually like it because it's a little bit of a thinner packaging so it's easier to like slip in your purse and then if you don't want to get either of those you can just pick up any baby unscented wipes they work amazing as well and i think they're great to have on you during that time of the month just to clean up down there throughout the day especially if you're somebody with a heavier flow it's definitely important to use something other than toilet paper to make sure that you're really cleaning the area because we all know as women that periods do produce odor and it's not always the best odor so it's definitely important to keep that area extra clean especially during that time of the month so just keeping the downstairs area clean in general at any time of the month not just during your menstrual cycle like i said those l wipes are amazing along with the target wipes and also just baby wipes i actually always like to keep baby wipes that are flushable in my bathroom i really love having those i think it's just so important to like just keep the area clean at all times and always make sure that you're going for fragrance free and unscented wipes down there if you're going to be using them in the feminine areas you don't want any fragrance you know fragrance is a big fat no for there along with just putting anything inside nothing should ever go inside your soaps even if it is fragrance free it is for the surrounding area it's never for inside or up there so just always keep that in mind my number one tip for washing the downstairs area in the shower is having some sort of unscented soap so like i said i love the l1 but my all-time favorite soap for the downstairs area is 110 percent the dove sensitive skin bar soap i did love the honeypot one the sensitive one and i also liked baby dove i definitely recommend those as well but i honestly don't even think it's necessary to spend the extra buck on those when you can literally get a sensitive skin dove bar soap for a dollar at target or the dollar store now a dollar 25 at the dollar store but 
you know let's not talk about that but literally you guys it is amazing i also used to recommend using baby washcloths but i just noticed that i feel like nothing does my job like my hands do i just feel like washing it with your hands is really effective and you don't actually need a washcloth it's just like the area is very sensitive i feel like you know you don't need something down there besides just your hands so i literally just take that sensitive skin bar soap rub it in my hands get them all sudsy and just clean the surrounding area of course never inside and honestly that's what works best for me and that's what i feel safest doing down there and then of course just rinsing it all off making sure it's fully rinsed off is just my favorite way of washing the downstairs area simple is always better and i've definitely learned that i just don't think it's necessary to buy the baby washcloths i noticed myself not really using them and just feeling like i didn't need them it just wasn't a necessity and it's just more laundry to do and just unnecessary but again if you do still use the baby washcloths and you love using them that's okay it's not like they're bad to use i just don't think it's like a necessity you know along with that just quickly touch on exfoliating it is important to exfoliate your whole body which we know but it's actually really important to exfoliate down there as well so make sure that you're exfoliating with something unscented fragrance free if you wax or shave exfoliating is key to getting a smooth wax smooth shave to getting rid of ingrowns and to just getting a much closer wax closer shave closer hair removal so I actually love the Venus pubic hair and skin exfoliator it's very very gentle and I actually like to just put it on exfoliating gloves and I feel like that does the best job I do a exfoliate the downstairs area two times a week which is plenty in my opinion and it just leaves it smooth I feel like it gets rid of those ingrowns and it just helps the hair grow out nicely where like you're not getting ingrown hairs and it just makes my wax so much cleaner I really do recommend that you never want to use anything too rough and you never want to use anything scented so if you're using your tree out scrubs or the downstairs area stop don't do that that is just like not what we want to do okay I would love if tree hut did put out like a specific scrub for that area but maybe they will who knows and then just for moisturizing down there you don't want to ever forget to moisturize down there I personally like to use something with light fragrance on the backside area and then if I'm gonna use um, that on the downstairs area I use it like very much on the surrounding area nowhere near it for the most part I'll use like some sort of either baby oil baby oil gel or baby um, lotion around the area and I just always do just the outside area like not the lips nothing like that just around the area make sure that it's staying moisturized so really quickly since this video was filmed I actually started using a different moisturizer moisturizer for the downstairs area. I have been loving the European Wax Center Slow Moisturizer. It's supposed to slow down hair growth and it also is fragrance free. They do have fragrance options but I chose the fragrance free one of course and this was actually recommended to me by my wax specialist so I really love it. It has helped me so much with keeping the area moisturized. And just lastly for the downstairs area, always carrying feminine wipes on you. So like I know I talked about just using them in general but like put them in your purse, put them in your backpack, put them wherever you need Need, just to freshen up throughout the day even if you're not using the bathroom literally just to wipe down there because moisture builds up in our underwear whether we're working out whether we're literally just living our normal lives doing nothing not sweating sweat builds up down there because it is a tighter area when you have underwear on when you have tight clothes on so just like wiping down there during the day to just one freshen up and two just make sure the area is free of sweat and stuff it can actually just help to prevent infections yeast infections bv all that kind of stuff if i know i'm gonna be like running errands after i work out i always like to like quickly wipe down there so like the sweat isn't like too built up and just like you know gross and then for the back area i actually kind of like to just use the sensitive skin dove bar soap also on the back area with my hands but then i'll also use a washcloth too so i'll use like a thicker washcloth because it's less sensitive back there to wash but i do like to use unscented dove bar soap so usually i'll take that on my hand put it back there and then take a washcloth and just like really get in there and then of course rinse it fully so that's kind of how i just wash it in the shower and then of course i always keep my flushable wipes on me that i can use when i use the bathroom i never will just use toilet paper if i'm using the bathroom like you gotta use a little bit of toilet paper and then go in with the wipes i don't like to use just wipes because I don't want to like clog the toilet but I'll wipe as much as I can with toilet paper and then I'll use a wipe or two and even throughout the day like I said I use the feminine wipes on the downstairs area but I also use it on the behind area to make sure that everything is staying nice and fresh and then something that I've actually been doing a lot is using witch hazel on a cotton pad and just wiping back there once or twice a day morning and night just to make sure one the area is staying clean two it's actually really good um, to prevent like hemorrhoids or anything like that if you have like any stomach issues if you've like had babies or been pregnant I've just Done, like a lot of research on that because I know that people have that problem so witch hazel is just really good for all of that in general and just using it back there keeps the area super clean and super fresh so you can just get an unscented witch hazel and alcohol free witch hazel because you don't need to be putting alcohol on your body it just will dry it out completely so definitely a alcohol free one and just using that on a cotton pad once or twice 
twice a day is super beneficial so now talking quickly about deodorant if you don't know I do use all aluminum free deodorants I started about over a year ago and I absolutely love it I feel much better knowing that I'm not putting aluminum under my arm so close to my breast area because aluminum can cause breast cancer if you didn't know that so if you do plan on going aluminum free I just want to say that you will have to detox which basically means that the first like I think it's like two to six weeks you could be experiencing more and more odor because you're using something without aluminum but the tip for that is just keep reapplying throughout the day and just trust the process that it'll stop eventually um you just have to keep doing it keep using it and don't go back to aluminum products like there's no point of like using aluminum free products if you're just going to use aluminum products on another day like it's absolutely pointless and it just sets you backwards so if you're going to use aluminum free deodorants you need to go full force in there and do that detox and then once you do the detox it'll be completely normal after that so some aluminum free deodorants that i absolutely love is the dove aluminum free deodorant zero percent aluminum i have the sensitive one i have the rose one and then i have the lavender one absolutely love them and i definitely recommend i also have the refillable cartridge one but the one that i had completely broke and i just feel like it breaks easily so you know it's great sustainable but personally it just didn't work for me so I just use the regular ones I will say with the dove ones though they have this jelly liquidy like consistency which is nice because it doesn't get on your clothes but sometimes it can feel a little wet so if you like something that's more powdery and dry I actually recommend the secret aluminum free deodorants the secret ones are absolutely amazing and, and feel identical to just using a regular deodorant with aluminum in them my favorite one is the cucumber one and the coconut one and my boyfriend has the cotton one which also smells really good so I want to try that one out but they work amazing they just glide on so smoothly they feel like regular deodorant the cucumber one is so fresh so clean it literally lasts all day so i am obsessed with it and aside from those two i also recommend the native ones i actually really do like the native ones but i really only reach towards those for more of the unique scents because they have a wider variety of scents so like i like to get like some of the random scents that they'll put out like the baked by melissa wands or like the candy cane ones thing things that you wouldn't find in like your dove or your secret one they are pretty expensive so i probably wouldn't just get like my regular regular deodorant from native but um they work really well and they also glide on really nicely kind of like the secret one they're more powdery rather than being like the liquidy jelly one like dove is so if you want something more powdery and you're willing to spend that extra buck i definitely recommend native especially if you want like more of like the fun cooler scents they have a wider scent variety okay so now just moving on to overall body cleanliness and just kind of in general this could literally be for boys girls anyone but i always recommend layering your scents to stay fresh and clean all day just making a quick disclaimer i didn't mean that you know laying your scents will have you feeling fresh and clean all day i more so meant smelling fresh and clean because i definitely do want to make the note that just by using fragrances perfumes things like that that doesn't mean that you're necessarily cleaning your body it just means that you're keeping yourself smelling good in order to stay fresh and clean all day like actually have a clean body and clean skin you need to obviously clean yourself thoroughly in the shower and then of course wearing deodorant is important but again that's more for like smell but cleaning yourself is definitely key to staying fresh and clean all day so basically what i always like to do is start with a base clean and for that base clean i always like to use something a little bit stronger so i'll use either a bar soap or a castile soap and ones that i really really love is the dr bronner's baby unscented castile soap i like this one because it is unscented so it can literally pair with any other body washes or fragrances that you're going to use and it also gets me so so clean like cleaner than any other body wash does like so clean that your skin will feel like squeaky clean and you're gonna need to follow up with another body wash because you're not gonna like the way it feels but you'll know that you're getting a good clean you do want to make sure that you are like running some water under it you're not using it directly on your skin because it can be a little harsh so I always like to put it on a washcloth and then rinse it and then go in with it literally my favorite base clean but I also just love any bar soaps I really love the Dove bar soaps the deep moisture one the cucumber one literally amazing i like the yardley bar soap there's other ones that i like too but there's a lot of bar soaps i also like the dr bronner's bar soaps they're really really nice they get you super clean so they're like castile soap but in bar soap form and yeah using a bar soap and a washcloth is key to getting a good base clean and of course if you're going to use a scented bar soap i really recommend using one that's going to match the scents of your other products which moving on to body wash like i said i always like to use a body wash that will somewhat match the previous 
previous base clean wash that I used. So if I'm using a lavender bar soap, I'm gonna go in with a lavender body wash and really layer that scent so you can really smell that lavender scent. And when I go in with the liquid body wash, I like to use it on a silicone body brush. I used to use loofahs and sometimes I'll use loofahs just for like shower talks because it's like aesthetically cute or whatever, but to get a good clean and to make sure that you're not collecting bacteria on whatever you're cleaning your body with, definitely washcloths because they can be thrown in the wash or silicone body brushes because silicone does not collect bacteria the same way something like a loofah would. And I also like to reach more towards body washes that are going to be on the more moisturizing side. So I really like Olay's body washes. They're very moisturizing. Doves are okay. I don't really think they're the most moisturizing, but I don't know. People might come at me for that. I like the Caress ones. Bath and Body Works moisturizing body washes are amazing. Just reaching towards something that is very moisturizing on your skin. I will be following up with lotion, but you know, you still want to feel like you got that good moisture and hydration within the shower, but you also got really clean. And of course, you want to smell good as well, so you always want to pair those products. I do sometimes like to use in-shower body lotions or shower oils, one that'll probably match with the routine, but it's definitely not necessary and not something that I do frequently, so I won't sit here and like recommend it to you guys. So after the shower, I always like to use a lotion that is going to match the scents. So like I said, I used a lavender bar soap, a lavender body wash. I'm going to use a lavender lotion, okay? Ding, 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 right. Um, I feel like a teacher, like I'm like, what's what comes next you guys i'm literally like bringing my teaching techniques into my youtube videos but yeah of course the lavender body lotion is what comes next and of course that'll really enhance the scent because you were in the shower you washed off the soap so all that went away you might still smell it very subtle on your skin but you really need that lotion to really enhance that lavender scent and i'm just using lavender as an example but yeah so using some sort of lotion that matches your previous body wash and base clean and then following up with a deodorant that matches and if you don't have a deodorant that matches because there's not that many scents in deodorant just using something that has a very simple scent whether it's fragrance free or something like cotton scent like something very very simple um that isn't going to like clash too much with the other scents but honestly it's not necessary for deodorant like if you just have any random deodorant scent like it's really not that big of a deal but like if you're somebody like me who's extra and has a lot of products i try to find a deodorant that matches every time that i do some my shower routine like something that's gonna match but it's definitely not necessary and then of course following up with a body mist or a perfume or both that is going to match so I always like to pair body mists and perfumes that match because I think it enhances the scent even more but it's not always necessary I don't always use both especially if I don't have one that matches that well but I do have certain things that match so like if I'm going to do my lavender routine I would probably find a fragrance mist that has strong lavender notes in it and then pair it with also a perfume that has strong lavender notes and I do like to spray my fragrance mist or perfume before I put my clothes on and then a little bit more after with my clothes on. I just feel like it lets the scent last a lot longer on your skin when you spray it underneath your clothes and above your clothes. And then also to let that scent last if you want to put some sort of baby oil, Vaseline, baby oil gel on your pulse points, which is like your wrists, behind your ears, your neck, in, inside of your arm, behind your knees, places like that, your pulse points. It'll really enhance the smell and let it really stick to your skin. Not so much with fragrance mist. I see it mainly more with um, perfume. So if you're someone that feels like your scents don't last as long, I definitely recommend trying that out and also just trying out layering your fragrances and scents i feel like your scent will last so so much longer so the last thing that i want to move on to in this feminine hygiene routine is laundry laundry is an essential part of keeping yourself smelling fresh all day long so just finding a laundry detergent that is one healthy safe and good for your skin and two one that smells decent and three that is going to really get your clothes clean i like to use the tide sensitive one personally i like that one the best because it doesn't have a strong fragrance so it's not going to irritate my skin it's not going to clash with any fragrance that i'd be wearing and i just feel like it also really really cleans my clothes well i don't do anything crazy for my laundry like i don't have a ton of laundry products i just use that and then i like to use the Dreff baby scent booster beads i used to really like like the downy ones that have strong fragrance but they're not really good for your skin and sometimes they smell a little too strong so i like something a little bit more simple especially because like i'll be washing my underwear and stuff so i'm not trying to have something with fragrance going down there like that's just not really safe for your feminine area so if you're washing your underwear with like a really strong fragrance detergent and also strong fragrance scent boosters that's really not good for you down there like it's kind of like using fragrance in 
inside that area, which we want to really avoid doing. So I always like to use something simple. And then of course, just dryer sheets in the laundry. That doesn't really affect anything. I keep it very, very simple with my laundry. And I think with laundry, simple is better because one, you don't want to damage your clothes. You don't want it to irritate your skin and you don't want all that fragrance in those areas so that's pretty much everything for my feminine hygiene and health routine it was kind of a lot i hope i got through it pretty quick and didn't have you guys sitting here for hours on end but i really hope that you all enjoyed today's video thank you again to you natural for sponsoring today's video again make sure to go check everything out in the description i highly recommend both the harmony and balance supplements if you guys liked today's video make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys